and welcome to my channel. This is Mrs. Green Thumb, and I wanted to bring you this video because I was telling people I wanted to show you what was growing in my greenhouse and how basically the greenhouse, I just love it. I enjoy my greenhouse. I enjoy the light that I got for the greenhouse. And right now, like I always say, the proof is in the pudding. I'm going to show you how well my plants are growing. So I'm going to bring you in closer. I apologize if the camera shakes because I'm kind of holding it and moving at the same time. Uh, so let's go find out what we got here. All right, so we'll start off with the top shelf here. And these are all plants new to me that I'm working on this year. So let's see if I can bring it back. Because it's so narrow in the tent, it's hard to film it. But this, these are all my tomatoes. This is, um, let's see, Kellogg's tomato. You can see Nat's issue I've been still working on. Um, and we have some, these are doing really good. This one here, this is the... Uh, white Thomasel tomato and oop, there we go and then we have the ABC Lincoln tomato and the smaller one which normally does a little bit better is um, I still like this brand uh, I'm just turning it around to show you it's Brandy's tomato and on the second row now this is really awkward because the cameras it's kind of on a stand and uh, I'm trying to show you all this stuff so I'll, again sorry all right so here we have what is this these are good thing I label and that's why I kind of label them on the videos because I, I started to grow so many things I'd never recognize them there's the butternut squash we come down here the golden zucchini and this is what was exciting about that look they're already growing flowers <laughs> I was really excited about that I mean I don't want to know if I want to hand pollinate but these ones are really, look at how fast these zucchinis are. All of them, they all have flowers on it. And I'll take you down this way. And we have, this is one of the lettuces I was growing. And I don't see red on it because it's a little bit of red, I guess, over here. So I'm not going to pronounce it exactly right. But it's florescious, florescious. Uh, some of my friends will actually help me out when I pronounce things wrong. <laughs> Anyways, where are you? Help. Here. These are what my spinach strawberries look like. That's what they kind of look like. And at the corner over there, I started them later. That's my gray zucchini. So they don't have flowers yet because they were started a little later. And I wanted to show you something else. Um, just a little point here. Do you see the pop bottles there? Or water bottles, sorry. I actually leave them in here and I kind of label one, two, three, four. I pay attention that I want the water to sit. I never did this before, but I'm really doing this very conscientious of it this year, is letting it sit to get the chloride out of it for 24 hours, and then I'll refill the bottles up, and that's what, why I do one, two, three, four, so I know if I, I filled one or whatever, I know to let it sit, and I won't touch that one. Just a little thing for you to, I don't know if that helps you out or not, and we'll go to the base down here, um, all right. and we'll go to the base down here. And we have some, some of the carnations I was telling you about, see, they look a little rough, but when I go outside, they're going to do much better in here. Um, what I really noticed was you have to water in a, um, a greenhouse way less. The water doesn't evaporate like a normal plant would in the sunny window or even in your house because yeah, it's because it's sealed in plastic and everything. The moisture, it really enjoys this humidity in here, but it also doesn't evaporate the moisture that much so you have to watch how you water these things or you can overwater them and which will not be a good thing for your plants then we're going to start up at the top here and I have said this is my mother plant right here right here look at the size of the leaf this leaf is really big look at that this is um doing so well and I take pieces from my philodendron and put them all over the house so I keep this one in good shape then I cut a piece and then I grow more plants from that same with these are not the original uh, right up here if I show you these are all spider plants I had to keep them somewhere because I get so many of them and I've given them away too so now here um, down here uh, there's uh, two down here and this is the one that's still blooming is the Cleome I was talking about. Uh, let's see if I can grab you out. There it is. You can see the flowers here on the Cleome. Um, this is a, an annual plant that should be uh, have died by now, but I didn't. I started it out this plant in December. I knew I couldn't put it outside, so I, I tried to keep them alive, which I did. Put them in my greenhouse, so I'm kind of happy that I get to put them outside. 
this year i saved it so that now i mean i'm not probably going to bring them in once they go this year then that's it but i want them to have a chance to be at least one year of living outside as a normal annual plant would do down below i have i gotta look like i said a lot of the plants start to look the same but uh there you go red salad there's another salad one i have three different salads gro growing in my greenhouse the red salad there's the all famous and faithful zinnia plants right down here right here um i controlled how many i, I was going to do because i last the year i did the video on how to grow them i did so many that i went okay i have too many of these i have to control it because i want to have room in my greenhouse and in my house and outside to have them all so i cut back on that then we have i was talking about um here it is right here that you can see it's the orchid that I got given. Because I have a cat, orchids are very highly dangerous and toxic. They've, my niece kitten was uh, died because of it eating leaves on it. So I have a cat, so I keep it away. The first one I ever got given, I gave it away because I didn't want my house. And this one, my cat doesn't seem to come in the greenhouse, so I kept it in here. I mean, he's a little squished up there, but nonetheless, it has a bud coming up here. And if you look way up here, there's some stuff coming up right here. Right there, I think you can see it with my hand. And all these on the top are forget-me-nots. I've been dying to do these since I was a kid. I, they're so beautiful purple flowers. Yes, they're only an annual, but I just wanted to do a video on how to grow them because um, I loved them as a child. All right, so we're going to move you down here. Whoa. <laughs> like I said, lots of space, but it's awkward in the center of this. And these, more forget-me-nots. And I have these that I did in bulk because, boy, they go crazy to germinate right here. Let me show you. These are Alyssa's. And uh, I didn't want to separate every single plant, so I didn't. I, I separate on no, most videos. I separate maybe two seeds to um, a cup. In this case, it had so many that I went, oh, this is going to be too much work. I'm going to see how it goes if I put them all um, in chunks. And look, you can see they're doing pretty good in chunks. Then I'm just going to let them root really well. And then, you know, forget about them. Forget about them. All right. So then we have down here, I have the four clocks, which I've grown. And I did a video on this one um, because these are pretty easy. They give a lot of seeds. And if you want, right now I didn't cut them down, but you can cut them down. Because um, I'm going to wrap these up around a pole when they're in my pots. You'll see them later on in the summer. But uh, you can cut them down and then they kind of bunch up later. I, and I wait kind of until I put them in a pot. So then we have these two, Sylvia, not doing great. That's why it said Sylvana. Um, I put them in the window, put them everywhere, and they're a little bit funny right now for me, these ones here. Now I have, um, whew, let me bring it down here. I have the word that I'm looking for that I'm always forgetting. I should let you guys, <laughs> uh, let's see if I do it right. Nasturtium. Okay, these are my nasturtiums. For those of you listening to my video, uh, and I, I'll do a special call out for Michelle Lee, who uh, kind of corrects me on this one, um, which is funny. I, I enjoyed that. It, look at, see, Mish, that's how um, well they're doing. Okay, down at the very bottom, that is my good old handy marigolds. And I got, let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 plants a marigold and those are easy to grow so at any point in time if I feel I didn't grow enough I'll do, go get some more germinated I still have plenty of time for that because um, I have grown uh, I've grown marigolds a little later in the season and they still caught up and they still bloomed for that season and then you got another a big spider plant that's getting a little squished in here but uh, nonetheless I can it probably needs to be repotted and um, I forgot the name of these ones, but I add these to pots. There's a couple of them in here that I'm not sure. If you know the name, put the name down below because I have some friends that kind of tell me if I don't know. I'm not sure the name of this. I had it. It's outside. I have the name of it. I just forgot. And the name of this one. But, uh, ooh, i got to put some water in there. But as you can see, I kind of root things in here too, but I root them all over the place in my kitchen and everywhere. So let me get out of here. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you join my channel by subscribing, hitting that bell, and you won't miss any videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.